contrary to popular belief i think that the paper of 2025 was not very tough not very easy it was on the moderate side i read article saying that this year's nscb was very tough it was unexpected i don't think so the paper was on the moderate side you can say not very easy not very hard as well although there are some questions but if you leave that four or five questions as a student still you get a very good mark in this exam so the main game was of time and the temperament that which question to keep and which question to skip so let's start the first question the first question here says that the physical physiological this is the first question it says the physiological mechanism of c3 and c4 plants highlight fundamental differences in how they cope with the stressors like water loss high temperature photorespiration we know that c3 plants that is the classical calvin cycle goes on and in case of c4 plants there is a different anatomy called kranz anatomy there is a different type of cell called bundle sheath cell we know that uh, c3 plant since they highlighted this word photorespiration so i would say that uh, we know that it is here uh, rather you can say important to mention that photorespiration is something that takes place in the c3 plants and c4 plants like maize have adapted some mechanism to get rid of it so the question says the reason for c3 plants to experience higher levels of photorespiration under the environmental stress could be why c3 plants undergo photorespiration now if you have never studied photorespiration let me say there is this enzyme called rubisco ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase and oxygenase why i have written this two letters with different color see if there is co2 what it does this carboxylase one becomes active and now the co2 has one carbon rubisco this enzyme itself is made up of five carbon now they form a compound now they in total they have six carbon they form a three carbon compound called phosphoglycerate this three carbon phosphoglycerate is formed now since phosphoglycerate is a three carbon compound we can say we can say that two of them will be formed and after which they will undergo the c3 cycle that is the classical kelvin cycle or you can say the dark reaction of photosynthesis as we have read in class 10 the basics of kelvin cycle now this is the case when in the medium co2 is present or in the environment co2 is present but the question itself says when the plant is in stress that means the carbon dioxide is less there is higher concentration of oxygen rubisco has more affinity for oxygen now the case would be different say this is rubisco the same enzyme i am writing it here now there is this oxygen thing now why the cycle would be different reason is during during co2 there was one carbon so the cycle had one carbon plus five carbon a six carbon compound or you can say two three carbon compounds but now in total we have only five carbon of this rubisco and here there are no carbon so now the pathway would be different in the presence of oxygen this part of the enzyme that is the oxygenase part would become active here o stands for oxygenase and this oxygenase part becomes active and when it gets activated the cycle is a bit different how let's see now we have here zero carbon and here we have five carbon that is in total we have five carbon we will uh, break it into three carbon and two carbon now that three carbon thing we know is phosphoglycerate as we have written there and we are okay with this we know this phosphoglycerate would undergo the c3 cycle the c3 cycle or the kelvin cycle what about the other thing because since we have five carbon the three carbon thing is gone additional to that something else will form called phosphoglycolate now what that phosphoglycolate does is it is firstly it is a two carbon compound 
इट विल गो थ्रू ए सेपरेट साइकिल कॉल्ड फोटो रेस्पायरेशन इट विल गो थ्रू समथिंग कॉल्ड फोटो रेस्पायरेशन इट इज ए लॉस टू द प्लांट थ्री सेल ऑर्गेनल्स आर इन्वॉल्व आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म हियर द थ्री सेल ऑर्गेनल्स आर ऑल दो द क्वेश्चन इज नॉट आस्किंग अबाउट इट आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग वट गोज ऑन हियर वन इज द क्लोरोप्लास्ट वन इज द पैरोक्सीजोम एंड अनादर इज द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया वट एवर हैज टेकन प्लेस सो फार हैज टेकन प्लेस इन दिस क्लोरोप्लास्ट दैट थ्री कार्बन कंपाउंड फॉस्फोग्लिसरेट एंड दैट टू कार्बन कंपाउंड फॉस्फोग्लाइकोलेट now from this phosphoglycolate i will just say it i will not write these things because the question has not asked for it it's just a part of explanation this two carbon compound called phosphoglycolate from it the phosphate is lost with the help of an enzyme called phosphatase and by the addition of water it is converted into something called glycolate now this glycolate in peroxisome get transferred into something called glyoxylate and glyoxylate gets <coughs> converted into something called glycine here that glycine from here that glycine enters the mitochondria glycine we know is an amino acid having two carbon c c w h n h 2 h h there are only two carbon the central c and the carboxylic acid carbon it is converted into something another amino acid called serine now you might argue in the fact that sir glycine has glycine has two carbon and serine has three carbon how does uh, this thing take place where is the additional carbon carbon came from answer is that when two molecules of glycine are formed it is converted into serine now if there are two molecules of glycine you have four carbon and serine has three carbon that is there will be an additional production of co2 here and from here this serine is transported back it is converted into something called glycerate this glycerate goes back here into the chloroplast and it is then converted into phosphoglycerate that three carbon compound and it again participates in the c3 cycle the pathway is a bit complex but it is quite simple for those who have already read it the photosynthesis chapter of uh, class 11 so this was the overall question that if a plant is c3 plant if a plant is c3 plant it has co2 only it will go through kelvin cycle but it is a, if it is a c3 plant and since the enzyme rubisco has affinity for oxygen in fact more affinity for oxygen it had to go through something called photorespiration photorespiration is what we have read right here photorespiration now this photorespiration is a loss to the plant it is a loss in many ways like there is usage of atp no production of glucose we have to recycle back it into phosphoglycerate and then we can participate in the classical photosynthetic pathway now if we read this question again now this question becomes easier uh, the question says how the reason for c3 plants to experience higher levels of photorespiration why why c3 plants have to undergo this photorespiration loss now see in case of c4 plants there is no photorespiration because of something called the kranz anatomy because of the bundle sheath cells they have adopted a different pathway the name itself suggests that there is a four carbon compound that is formed not a three carbon compound the c3 cycle is called c3 because that three carbon pga is formed phosphoglycerate but in case of c4 that three carbon compound is not formed it has adapted a different mechanism to get rid of this photorespiration loss this c4 plant has adapted something so that that loss do not occur so in this c4 plant you won't get photorespiration loss the question says the reason for c3 plants to undergo photorespiration why if they would have asked for the adaptation that c4 plant has undergone i would have given a detailed explanation of that as well what is kranz anatomy how bundle sheath cells are arranged so that that photorespiration does not occur but the question has said only the part up to which i have explained that why c3 plant undergoes this photorespiratory loss so let us read the first option the first option says 
say this is the first option it says c3 plants have rubisco which has greater affinity for oxygen as compared to carbon dioxide and this statement is true i am not saying this is the correct option this statement is true but this statement does not explain why c3 plants undergo photorespiration i am not saying that this statement is wrong many of you watching this session might have marked option a but option a i am not saying that it is incorrect rather i am saying that this is not the explanation so in that case i am excluding this option in the second option i will say c3 plants are unable to survive in high temperature environments no that's wrong this statement is false that they are unable to survive in high and high temperature environments it's wrong in the third statement we can see the c3 plants can not concentrate co2 effectively around rubisco increasing the oxygen interference correct this is what we have read right now that c3 plants cannot concentrate co2 effectively if if c if c3 plant would have said that we would only take co2 we will not take oxygen then this thing would not have occurred this entire thing called photorespiration it took place due to a simple thing because this oxygen it interfered this oxygen interfered and c3 plant said we will allow you we will allow our carbon dioxide as well because of this oxygen this instability that is photorespiration started taking place so i will go with option c i have downloaded this paper from the internet so whoever paper is this he or she has done a tremendous job in this first question because he or she has escaped that option first wala trap in that first option the statement was true but it was not answering the question the last option there is something called ets ets has nothing to do with this thing electron transport system has nothing to do with this this takes place in the light phase so it has nothing to do with this dark phase thing about photo of photorespiration this photorespiration that c3 pathway or that c4 pathway takes place after the light reaction has taken place it is the classical dark phase of photosynthesis so option 4 is eliminated so the trap could have been in option 1 since this statement was true but it was not explaining what the question had asked so this was my view on the first question and i will be coming with the questions of nacb in such short video formats thank you and hope you had a great exam